So, so no one in this House wants to see and to ensure that our water regulators have all the tools at their disposal that they need to, to get on top of the, uh, the sewage discharge issue. But could she explain to the House, as she sums up on her position on this amendment, uh, whether or not it is the case that Ofwat already have the powers that are being sought in the amendment from the Honourable Gentleman from Westmoreland and Lonsdale, and if the same powers were given to the Environment Agency, this would be more likely to lead to confusion and a lack of clarity about which agency is taking the lead in such prosecution, and that might lead prosecutions to fall through the cracks. I thank my honourable friend for his intervention. The, mem- the member for Ludlow is quite correct, and this is the basis on which we cannot accept this amendment. Of course, it is the case that everybody agrees that, that, that water companies should be punished as robustly as possible, but it is also the case <coughs> that we have pre existing offences that apply. Uh, pollution incidents are already the subject of criminal sanctions available to the env- Environment Agency under the Environment Permitting England and Wales Regs 2016, and there is a serious risk of duplication, not least, and I hope the Honourable Member for Westmoreland won't mind me saying this, but I noticed that the sanction that he had included in his amendment was just more fines, and we already have a fines regime. Let me set out